Hello everyone, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Hit The Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone on Tone Men's Guitars and Basses. If it's your first time here, welcome. What I do here is take bits of songs, intros, riff, licks and try to give you all the tools you need to hit the tone. And the cool thing is, you're in charge and you tell me which song you want to see here next. So put it down in the comment section and I'll get to you as soon as I possibly can. While you're down there, please consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much in advance. And without further ado, let's start with today's song as you've seen in the title is can't stop by the red hot chili peppers all right and back again with master john fruchante because i can only call him master john fruchante for i think our third episode with red hot chili peppers on this format we've done snow we've done scar tissue go check out the playlist hashtag in the tone somewhere in the description box down below it was the first episode because it's probably my favorite band and you guys kept asking for more and more and more and I said we'll do all of them so I'll just keep going through them. But this one is, is a bit of a, of a nutball compared to the other ones because it's not a neck pickup situation and weirdly enough it might not even be a strat kind of situation. And that's one of the only songs where I'm really just uncertain about which guitar was used on the recording. He's used a lot of Telecasters to play this song live so I tend to assume that maybe it was that but not too sure. Also, we got a new toy. <laughs> we got a new guitar for the video studio and I'm really pumped about this. It is the PRS Silver Sky. I'm really excited to play this. As I said, not even a neck pickup kind of scenario. This intro is played on the bridge pickup. So this is our basic tone. As usual, it doesn't have to be a PRS Silver Sky in that context. As long as you have a single coil bridge pickup equipped guitar, it'll work. Whether it's a PRS, it's a Fender, it's a Strat, it's a Tele, it's a Dan Electro, it's a... Any other guitar that's got a single coil in the bridge will work just fine. And so with that, let's go and see what we're going to put that signal through in our amp and pedal setup. <laughs> Now, although I'm not too sure about the guitar, I'm fairly confident about the amp selection because Fruchante has been very consistent with his amp choices using both a Marshall Major and a Marshall Silver Jubilee on at the same time, at least. Uh, there's also some Fender stuff, there's spare heads, it might not be that exact combination, but it usually is at least live. So, what we're looking at is a very pushed edge breakup Marshall kind of sound and I am going as usual through my Fender Hot Rod Deluxe Tweed Edition. The controls will be on your screen and this is not really Marshall-y so we're going to Marshallize that with a pedal and that pedal is the JHS Double Barrel. It's probably my favorite iteration of what a Blues Breaker circuit can be. So whether it's this one, whether it's the uh, Morning Glory which is this side individually or the Wampler Pantheon, which is incredible as well. That kind of effect uh, will uh, help you marshalize a Fender or just any other kind of clean sound. That being said, if you have a Marshall amp, like a mini Jubilee or something like that, you probably won't even need the pedal. And let's stop blabbering and see where it takes us. Not only does it change the tonal characteristics of your not Marshall amp, but also it's a serious volume boost. And that's a tip that you'll find if you've watched any of the other episodes on either Red Hot Chili Peppers or John Mayer or Jimi Hendrix and all these guys with massive clean amplifiers. To get closer to that sound with a small combo, 
I'd suggest clean boosting the front of it and making the tubes work a lot harder. And that gets you just like a bigger sound out of a small lamp. And that's it. No reverb, no delay, just a straight single coil into cleanish, break up y kind of sound. And that is it for this part. Now let's jump onto the final section of that video, which is, as per usual, the most important and is how to play the song. Link reminder time because once again, I forgot to tell you guys that everything that I'm using today, as well as a bunch of recommendations, will be linked in the description box down below. Here you will also find the tabs for these songs if you want to spend some more time learning them or just are not much of a, a visual learner. If you are, however, let's get started. The song is in E standard, so no need to detune your instrument. And we'll first have a look at the build-up part of the introduction as well as the main riff, starting with our fretting hand. That's pretty much everything John Frusciante. It is a lot more complicated to pull off than it looks or that it sounds. In itself, it's four positions. It's single string noise, per se. Um, but, and this is why I'm not going to show you when we get there, the single string picking, because what John Frusciante does is slam all of the strings always and just mute with his left hand. So that might be a little bit tricky at first, but I think it's a better exercise for you to try and pick everything, just as I'm gonna show you, uh, rather than single pick and then progressively try and pick more. I'd rather you guys practice sort of your uh, left hand muting technique rather than progressively getting closer to his sound because a lot of this intro and a lot of the, like the punch of it and just, because it drives the whole song is with the bass sorry bass players, with the bass, comes from the fact that he just picks everything. So yeah, let's have a look at the picking hand. As I said, it's going to be a, a little bit messy at first, maybe a lot, if you're starting with guitar or if you're not familiar with that kind of technique, but I strongly recommend starting with picking everything and then trying with one note. So you'll have, we start with that one, for example. Please do not do something like this. Because going from something like that to what he actually plays is going to be a lot more complicated than trying to practice on your muting. So doing something like this. Pick everything and mute with your left hand, with like the flesh of your either index finger or your thumb, and that's valid for every position during that intro. If it sounds like this at first, just keep practicing. That's, that's really the only way. And if you want to play Red Hot Chili Peppers and, and so many more artists that use that technique, this is gonna be super useful for you. So I know it's gonna be messy at first, your parents are not gonna like it, your partner or whoever you live with, your roommates are not gonna enjoy that, but it's definitely something that you want to work on. And with that in mind, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Can't Stop by Red Hot Chili Peppers. As usual, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed the video and I maybe learned something. And if you want to see any other song that you like on this channel, please put it down in the comment section. Don't be shy on more Red Hot Chili Peppers. I'm thoroughly enjoying those. <laughs> And um, yeah, please consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you don't want to miss the next episodes. And until then, I wish you guys a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.
Thank you.